Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new WinLater version, which is the WinLater Frost version 10.3 final, an open source fork version of official WinLater Android, which has been updated by the developer of WinLater Frost. Now, you guys know I have tried out WinLater Frost many times previously, and it provides amazing performance, compatibility, and finally, new improvements over the normal version of WinLater 10 final. Now, before getting started, I have an amazing news that finally, the official WinLater Android is back in its development the main developer has started working on the simulator once again which is a really great news so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications so whenever the winlater 11.0 version is released i'll be able to update you guys till then let's take a look at the minimum requirements for winlater frost latest version android version 8 or above minimum 3 to 4 gb of ram and an amazing part about this brand new version of winlater frost that we'll be testing out today is that it even works the best on mali gpu android devices you don't have to worry about low fps or anything because Mali GPU supported Vortex graphics driver have now been added. You guys can see Vortex graphics driver universal for all GPUs but not all Mali GPU devices work. So this brand new version of WinLater Frost was released two days ago and you will be able to see some extra features have been added. Updated VKD 3D turnip as well as Vine including new turnip drivers have been added to resolve other issues. This WinLater is merged with the WinLater FA which is the best performing WinLater fork for Android devices. So lots of improvement in terms of performance have been made with that being said let's just go ahead and open this brand new version of winlater frost and start setting it up right away on our mobile device now guys i am so relieved and so happy that the original winlater android is back in its development so the first thing which we'll do is go to settings afterwards here make sure to select the box 64 version as the latest 0.3.5 Performance preset should be the box 64 preset. Duplicate it, tap on edit afterwards, set the safe flex level to zero. You can also edit the other information if you want to play a specific game. There are specific settings available, for example, Assassin's Creed Unity, etc. But after you create your own preset, make sure to choose it in box 64 preset. Once that has been done, we'll create our wine container where this is going to be a wine glipsy container, not a bionic container. Screen size will set it according to our preferences. So we can go with 854 by 480 for 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. In terms of graphics driver, we'll be going with Vortex Universal. And in terms of Vortex settings, make sure to set the Vulkan version to 1.3, max device memory to max, which is available here. And then simply tap on OK. If you guys have a Snapdragon processor Android device, you'll need to go where the latest version of Turnip Adreno 25.2.0 has also been provided here. But for today's video, as the device which I am using has Snapdragon 8 Elite, I'll go with Vortex. If you have a Mali GPU Android device, then also you'll need to go with Vortex. DX wrapper, we have DXVK. Afterwards, DXVK versions, we have all the way up to latest 2.6.1.1. So we'll be going with the latest DX wrapper. Afterwards, tap on OK. Enable show FPS audio, make sure to set it to pulse audio. Once that has been done, we are all done with the best settings of WinLater Frost container. We can set the startup selection as aggressive and make sure box 64 preset is set as performance 1. You can go to try and also select the folder where you store your PC games. Once that has been done, simply tap on the tick mark option to create our container. Afterwards, tap on the play button because we have now successfully set up the WinLater Frost. We have also applied the best settings and now it's time to find out how well does it actually work, what's the performance like and much more. Once our WinLater container has launched, we'll go to the start section, 3D test and here you will be able to see test D3D has been removed. Now we'll be just running the cube map direct 3D test to see if our graphics is working. But Unfortunately, it seems that as soon as I open this test, the WinLater container has frozen. So in task manager, we'll just go and try to disable or end this process and see if that works. Okay, that has fixed it. So we'll go to the start section once again and try out a different 3D test, which is Dolphin. And once again, it is actually showing a black screen. So I'm not really sure why it's not working. Even though we are using the Vortex graphics driver, you'll be able to see our emulator has frozen because task manager is not showing anything. So we'll need to restart our emulator. Well, let's just go ahead and skip all the benchmark tests and the boring stuff. Let's jump right into the gameplay test. So guys, the game that I'll be testing out in today's video is going to be our classic Grand Theft Auto 5, one of my favorite games. And do let me know in the comment section down below which more games should I test out. Last time we tried out Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm as well. Now another reason why our game might not be opening is because of the DXVK version which we have selected. So we'll just go ahead and edit our container setting. And in terms of DXVK, we'll go with the trusty 1.10.3 and now 
Let's try restarting our container to see if our games actually boot. So here we have launched GTA 5 once again and as you guys will be able to see this time it has successfully booted because we are using a stable DXVK version instead of the latest 2.6.1 which might not be supported with the games that you play. Now unfortunately you will be able to see the resolution scaling is a bit messed up. Nonetheless we will just cut and toggle full screen and at the top left corner you will be able to see some information such as the FPS bar, DXVK version as well as the graphics driver which we are using. Now I'll restart the simulator and set the screen resolution to 720p so we get a full screen experience and add a save file as well. After adding the save file and changing our screen resolution you can see our game is about to start. Now one thing which I really like about Winlater Frost is the ability to go to input controls and find pre-built input controls that usually work without any issues for example the general input control which is very handy while playing games like GTA 5 it works fabulously unlike the virtual gamepad setup which we got in normal win later which doesn't work most of the time. So here we go after waiting for few seconds our game has started and at the top left corner you can see we are getting straight up 30 fps. As usual because snapdragon 8 elite does not have turnip graphics driver there will be stuttering issues but once everything has been rendered properly you can expect a very smooth gameplay experience. Just take a look at this. It seems our game is working properly without any major issues. Now I am expecting great things from this version of win later android and that's because it combines the win later AFA as well AFE or AFA which is officially the best performing win later android. It provides the maximum amount of performance possible and here you will be able to see I am getting a very smooth playable gameplay experience which is capped to 30 fps because we have vsync enabled. This also fixes the virus fiasco which I believe the fix was provided in win later 10 final hotfix version. So it's up to you do let me know in the comment section down below which windows emulator for android do you prefer win later frost or the official win later android. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.